Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running. And I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again. Lift your head and look around, you will be found. 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 Hey there. So welcome to my channel. Why am I sitting in my car with a cup of coffee and my dog in my lap? Clearly in the dark. Well, for my church, um, we have been doing during this entire time of the pandemic, the lockdown, shutdown, isolation. And even as we've opened back up a bit more, we're doing daily check-ins from uh, our pastors and leaders. And I have Saturday mornings. So, um, and I'm just a weird one that I literally make it early on Saturday mornings. I, I could make it in advance. Then I come out with waffles and we have coffee with waffles and Len and, uh, and I share some encouragements. You could check out, uh, other videos in that series. Um, they're in my playlist on the channel here called my sermons and encouragers. And, uh, and I would invite you to check that out. Um, but the reason why I started with this song, um, it is the anthem, it's the kind of the main song from Dear Evan Hansen, the song of hope um, in a movie and originally, of course, a stage musical play um, that I just think is powerful. The, the movie is good. I'd encourage you to go and watch it. It's not as good as the stage play, uh, but it's still pretty awesome. And the message is so profound, deals with a uh, uh, anxiety and depression, teen angst, loneliness, single parenting, parenting struggles in general, and of course, suicide and grief. Um, and throughout all of that, the answer, the hope that they offer uh, in, this, in this play, uh, I think, again, it's the best musical ever, not because it's all flashy and big stage productions, but because of these topics that are addressed so compassionately and honestly, that in our human experience, um, we all suffer and we all struggle. And, uh, and somewhere along the way, most of us have figured out a way to cope by wearing masks. You know it, you've worn them. We wear masks, we put on a good front, but underneath, um, many people are hurting far worse than we realize. Maybe we're hurting far worse than we would let others want to know and not letting ourselves be real. And as I started to say, the answer that this play suggests uh, to all of that is to be authentic and real, to experience community by, by asking for help and being honest. 
I don't think it's as simple as that, to be perfectly honest. I think that there are a lot of people not emotionally capable to be safe for us, that even in our honesty, we still may find that nobody is there. Um, and I promised in the creation of this channel that I wouldn't become overly preachy. But I do believe I have a hope in Christ, and that is my faith. And I believe there is an answer there that addresses all of these human experiences. And, and with our faith, we should be, and I realize that there are a lot of unsafe people within the church, the Christian church as well. I get that. And I'm sorry if you have experienced that from others. But ultimately, the Bible calls us to become safe people for others, to show love and concern. And when one is broken and hurting, we can offer that hand of comfort and support. That's where the true honesty comes from and the answer comes from. And, uh, and I just encourage you, wherever you're at in your life, um, to go on that journey to explore and discover the human experience of loving others and showing community is the way God wired us and created us. So let's look to serve and love and care for people, to be safe place for people to share their hurts and their struggles. All right, back on to some other topics of Disney and Starbucks and travel and all of that. But I just felt that this needed to be shared. And, uh, and I, Thank you for watching.